the grammar of argument and persuasion. Unit 20. Tone. The writer's tone conveys their attitudes and feelings towards the material. This is often referred to as the writer's voice. It approximates the sound of the writer if they were to read the piece aloud. Writers usually convey their tone through word choice, sentence types, sentence length, and punctuation marks. Ways to identify tone A common way to identify tone is that you read the piece aloud. Then you apply an adjective or adjectives. This will then define the tone in the piece of work. Another way to identify the tone is to read the work and then ask, is the tone positive in red, negative in blue, or neutral in green? Once you have decided, choose an adjective to define the tone. Here we have an example for a neutral tone. It reads, his employers treated each rival with respect, putting none in front of the other. This conveys a neutral tone through the words respect and the phrase putting none in front of the of another. This can be defined more precisely as self-effacing. This means not claiming attention for oneself. Next we have a positive tone example. It reads, he pranced towards his co-worker's desk, delighted with his work. This conveys a positive tone through the words pranced and delighted. It can then be defined more precisely as elated, which is very proud or happy, and enthusiastic, having great excitement or interest. Here we have a negative tone example. It reads, government environment initiative reckless. This conveys a negative tone through the word and use of reckless. This can then be defined more precisely as condemnatory, expressing strong disapproval, and disapproval, expressing unfavorable opinion. Thank you for watching this tutorial on tone.